Hello all, it's Teresa from Teresa's Spot for Art. Today we are doing a project using essential stencil rub-on transfers. If you're doing it on a hard surface, you want to clean that surface with rubbing alcohol. Get it really cleaned up well and dry. Next, I'm going to apply a base coat, and this is Plaid Folk Art Linen. You can use whatever color you want, something that matches your rub-on transfer. And I'm going to do a really nice base coat here. It's really important that you let this paint dry completely before you go on to your next coat or apply your transfer. I'm gonna grab a little bit of burgundy and make a really nice rosé color. I wanted to dry brush it on in the background so to kind of feather out of the edges of my rub-on transfer. And again, I'm using a dry brush technique. I'm doing a really, really light rose color with my burgundy and my linen paint. I'm going to come in and feather in the sides a little bit with some linen paint. And you want this to dry completely. So if you don't have time, grab your heat gun or your blow dryer because you want your paint to be completely dry before you apply your transfer. I'm using the Vintage Stamp Collection from Essential Stencil Rub-On Transfers. I'm not sure if they had it anymore, but there are so many beautiful patterns that they have. Use Stencil Spot for 10% off your order on Rub-On Transfers or reusable stencils. And I'm just gonna finish up this base coat here and let it really dry. This is an upcycle project using a tray that I had in my basement. So this tool comes with your rub-on transfers or you can use a popsicle stick or a gift card, something firm with a straight edge. I'm going to peel off the backing from my transfer and I'm going to fold it down. I peeled it back about an inch or so and I'm gonna fold it down. This way I can eyeball where my transfer wants to go before I apply it to my surface because once it's down, it is down. So I'm gonna line it up Oopsie. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure to the top, get that stuck on there. Then I'm going to hinge it up and pull out the backing sheet. This will allow my transfer to fall into place where I want it. Then I'm going to get the burnishing tool that comes with your rub on transfer. And I'm going to start rubbing my transfer into place, going back and forth, but working from the inside out. You wanna get a really nice adhesion. You'll see when the transfer starts to come away from the top clear part. I'm gonna use the popsicle stick to get in and around all these little scalloped edges. And then I wanna make sure it's really burnished well. I'll use my finger. Your finger applies a little bit of heat and pressure as well. Then you wanna grab the corner and slowly start to pull up your top plastic cover. If you have a little part that's stuck, Go back and get it with your burnisher, or your popsicle stick, or your finger. Make sure it's adhered really well. And then proceed to take up that top cover plastic sheet. You want to go nice and slowly, making sure none of the transfer is stuck onto your plastic top sheet. If it is, you can always go back and fix it with paint if you want. But just go slow. This isn't slow motion. This is actually as slow as I pulled it off. When you get up near the top, you want to be careful that it doesn't lay back down again. Sometimes I bunch it up in my hand, and there you go. I'm going to use my thumb now with a little bit of pressure and heat from my finger to make sure there's no bubbles and it's applied really well. And there you go. We upcycled this tray. Don't forget to use Stencil Spot for 10% off stencils or rub-on transfers at Essential Stencil. Thank you for joining me. Follow for more.